Okay, hello, this is Jacob Freeman from Jacob Freeman Inc. And today I'm going to attempt to teach you how to get this effect here. So yeah, so um, how we're going to do that is we're going to open up Motion 5 and we're going to open a new project. And we're going to go to, make sure you go to 29 frames per second and we'll go to 120 seconds just to be safe. Okay, so now that we have our motion project open we are going to uh, open up our two original video clips and our original video clips are one of John taking the pillow away and replacing it with the ball and then the other one is of me falling. So uh, in motion what we're going to need to do is we're going to open up the uh, video of me fall to do is find oh wait yeah just a suggestion if you um Record it at 1080p and you're exporting it at 720p. Make sure you go to the inspector, properties, and set the scale to 67%. And then you have the whole video frame. Now I gotta go to the part of the video where I actually fall because I spend most of the video not wanting to. Um, let's see, let's go. That's, I think that's when I start to fall. Okay, so let's go right about here, and uh, we'll split that and delete the first half. If you don't know how to split it, you put your thing here, you right-click. Oh, wait, no, not right-click. You go to Edit, and then you go to Split. I set my own key command for it. You can do that if you want to. Okay, so then what we do is we of me falling onto the ball. Now, uh, in my video, you might have noticed that when my buddy entered the screen, he did a little thing with his hands and he made me suddenly go into slow motion. Well, obviously, I did not film this in slow motion, so I'm going to teach you guys how to use a little thing called optical flow. And I'm going to do it for a very short clip because I don't want to waste the time rendering but I will show you how it's done and yeah so let's say I want to go I want to start going into slow motion right here so I'll once again split the clip and then I'll go to the point right before when I want it to go into regular motion again so scrub through the frames So I find just the right one. I will go right here. So we'll split that. Okay. So as you can see, this is a very, very, very short clip here. So what we're going to do is we're going to select the, make sure you select the video, not the group, but the video. And then you want to go into um, Inspector, Properties, and then you're going to click Show on Timing. And now what we're going to do is in Frame Blending, you want to select Optical Flow. And then we're going to slow it down. So we'll drag it, the percentage down here. 
All right. 59%, let's say I want to do 10%. Okay. And now what Optical Flow has done for us is it's rendered... And I'm not sure it's all lined up. It rendered every frame between... Yeah, so now we have all these extra frames so it now appears that I'm moving in slow motion. So now that we've got that, now that we've got that, we need to make a way for my friend to stop time, come in, replace the ball while I'm gone, and then leave. So how we're going to do that is we are going to go to our slow motion copy. We're going to go to Bezier Mask. We are just going to carefully mask out my body. I'm not going to take a lot of time to do this. This is just kind of going to be a rough rough, rough, rough shot. Okay. All right, and now we'll just finish making the points. And we're good. I'll add a little feather to this. Oh. Yeah, I should have mentioned you should make the uh, mask at the end of the clip, but you understand the point. So now, underneath this, we're going to go into my file browser, and we are going to select the clip of of uh, friend slowing down time and grabbing the ball and taking care of all that. So we're gonna add this to the project. And here it is. So once again we gotta make sure that we uh, since this was shot at a higher resolution we wanna go into the inspector, go into properties and we're gonna bring the scale down to 67% there we go, now we can see that all lines up. And now, as I fall in slow motion, I know my masking is bad here, you might have to do some work with that. But as you can see, as I'm falling, he now comes, he can now come in, do whatever he needs to do, throw the pillow away, replace it with a ball before I go into fast motion, and then you should get a little clip that looks like this. Oh wait, sorry. Like this. So there you go. Um, Oh, and if anyone's wondering, this is what the uh, this is what the fall looked like before before it slowed down. You know how I where I put the uh, mask. So um, that's pretty much it. Uh, I have some more parts to that video that are uh, coming very very soon. I'm gonna edit them actually right after I let you guys go. Um, thanks for watching. And uh, comment, rate, subscribe. Any questions you have, I'll be happy to answer. Bye.